Hey everyone, um, welcome back. I'm just going to discuss, or I just want to bring to light uh, pinball, and um, in particular virtual pinball. It's a big thing these days, and uh, a lot of the classic and uh, contemporary tables are now being um, translated, I guess, into um, virtual pinball machines, and I'd like to discuss a little bit about that. Um, in particular, I was really interested in a, um, a product that you could create yourself um, called PinSim. Um, I've got the box here that I created, so you can see that there. It's like a little pinball. Imagine pinball without the glass or without the table or the headboard, etc. So it's an, also an arcade type setup, right? You can see that. Okay, so this was off of tested. Um, Basically, I've just built that myself, and I've hooked that up to a Raspberry Pi 4, yeah, um, which I have here as well, somewhere. Here it is, Raspberry Pi, all right, and that's all going through Pinsim. Now, these tables um, are now, the next level is there is a VPE, right? VPE is uh, basically, let me bring that up. So if I come here, VPE is a creator's guide basically for creating these or for porting these tables if you wish or create your table from scratch and bring them over into Unity, which is a gaming engine. All right, you can download Unity for free. Um, so there is a forum that I've been following lately. Um, it's the basically VP, Virtual Pinball Forum, vpforums.org. And in here, there's a guy called Freezy, and he's been developing out this uh, virtual tables. He started out as a JavaScript, and he's porting it over, and he's continued with that, and it's a really great read. Um, and yeah, it's really neat, because he's incorporating ray tracing um, now, because basically Uni, Unity 2019, 2020 plus um, is incorporating real-time ray tracing, so you're getting uh, hyper-realistic shadows and uh, reflections, uh, glossiness, uh, emissive materials, so glow, etc., and lighting. All right, it's in real time, remember? So imagine that in a pinball machine, and uh, you come up with uh, something similar to um, to this. And basically, Freezy's, Freezy has allowed us to now import these VPX, which are uh, ROM tables, um, um, based on MAM, okay, which is like the old arcade emulators. So you can now bring in these VPX tables in all their glory directly into Unity. Wow, this is a game changer. So, of course, it's early days and uh, Freezy's doing a lot behind, you know, behind the lines. Um, working flat out, I believe, on this in his spare time, perhaps full time, I'm not sure, but um, awesome, awesome job that um, he's doing. And so, hats off to you, Freezy. Like, check this out, check this out. Look, look at this, look at this sort of detail we're starting to see. Okay, you can see all the reflections here. I'm just scoping around this a little bit. And this is in the Unity editor, all right. Um, now, when you pull in VPE, um, here it is here, it creates a visual pinball, you've got a toolbox, um, cell manager, etc. Now all of this isn't running at the moment, but you can import the tables, okay, and that's fantastic, which I've done here, purely pulled this in. So I'm not going to keep chatting too much, let me push play, and over here it'll maximize, and this is the actual gaming um, screen. Um, the ball itself is not um, loading at this stage. It's just showing you that, hey, it does play. It does work. I've just got the flippers running now. And I can't wait to actually get a couple of balls rolling down this table. That would be phenomenal. Um, so massive um, hats off to you, Freezy. Let's see how we go here. I'm just waiting for this to play. Here we go. Here it is. Look at that. Uh, next level and I can even run the um, my flippers if I'm right here let me check that there we go there's a flipper there's my flippers I notice I do have to hold the shift keys down for a little bit for them to actually 
so I should be able to just tap it one tap and maybe it should flip but um, you know early days I'm still playing with the the mass the torque etc acceleration the speed of these flippers so I've only just managed to get them going but there we go look at that beautiful um, and of course I'm getting a lot of errors so this is not playing very well or anything like that at the moment here you go I'm getting you know a few errors here I've got to take care of all that um, so yeah just a quick heads up VPE it's called it's available on github but if you go into and I'll be sharing this with my students um, they, they, they will have a field day on this I'll absolutely be loving it all right um, the forum jump on the forum too and here it is here the creators guide running VPE overview of it etc oh, here it is here he's actually got Tom and Jerry in there already so if I push play there you can even see this running there we go how's that beautiful 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 look at that okay and Freezy's pulled this into a 3d environment so imagine this in VR that's gonna be the next level okay look at this and it's using dots and uh, entities Basically, the dot system is going to be awesome for um, for dynamic physics, etc. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks for watching. And thanks for easy. Awesome.